today. It is about four o'clock. <laughs> and um, it is Monday. And today we are going to figure out our one rep max. And I figured I'd bring you guys along. Okay, so why did I yell? I was never a cheerleader for the record. Just get really excited and I use <laughs> my hands. Okay. So today we are doing a whole new program. We sat down yesterday and we discussed that we wanted to do progressive overload. Um, I've personally never done it before. Have you? No. <laughs> it's like, this, are you talking yeah, to me? This should not be <laughs> there's no one else. So we decided that today we're going to figure out our one rep maxes. Today's like our pull day. So we're going to do barbell rows, um, deadlifts, and then we're going to do pull-ups. So we're going to figure out our one rep maxes for our compound movements. And then I think after that we're going to do, what, 65% one week each every, week? Every week, 5% increase. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it was a 10% increase. No, it was 5 Okay. We can we can do ten if we want to like speed it up. Yeah, so we're still kind of figuring out the logistics of that. But anyway, we're gonna start with first week gonna be sixty five percent, and then each week from there is gonna be um, increased by either five to ten percent. So a lot of math. I'm not really a fan of this. <laughs> That's kind of probably been the only reason why I've never done progressive overloads before. Never care to, but now I'm kind of like, all right, I'm trying to actually put on some serious muscle. Now that we kind of have our macros figured out and we're actually like starting to slowly hit them, um, now it's time to, time to focus on like the exercise portion of it all, you know? So we're gonna try this, stick with it for probably a few months, I think, probably like at least two months, I would imagine. To try and stick Eight. with it? Yeah. It's like, a lifestyle, Mia. It is, but we're not gonna be forever progressively overloading. <laughs> Forever. No. Forever progressive overload. Yeah, we're just gonna drink our energy drinks and then start. So see you guys shortly.
So if it's not obvious by the last few clips for today, push days are definitely my hardest, especially, I guess, overhead press. I didn't realize how hard it would be, but to be fair, I don't really do overhead press, so my form was wrong, I think, most of the time. And then my last set, which happened to be my heaviest set, was my best. So now that I got my form down, it'll be a lot easier from here on out, but yeah, how are you feeling? Like I'm gonna be sore. Yeah, yesterday had me feeling very exhausted. So, one rep maxes are going to take a toll on us, I just know it. But tomorrow will be a leg one rep max day, so we will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Friday. So the last thing you just saw was supposed to be our last day for one rep maxes. We were gonna do um, squats, uh, hip thrusts, and then RDLs, but we got so tired from doing the first two workouts. Hey, what are you doing? Hmm? Go back in. But we got so tired that we decided to hold off and actually do our one rep maxes for RDLs today. So, um, yes, it is Friday and I'm gonna bring you guys along for our last one rep max workout and yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that this was fun. If you're looking to do progressive overloads like we are, um, this is just a little insight as to like how we found our one rep maxes. We kind of just started, put some weight on and worked our way up from there. So just make sure you have somebody to help you with for spotting purposes, just in case you can't get the bar up as you saw times on like squats and overhead press I think so yeah that's it but thanks for watching and see you guys next time bye